hey guys welcome back to our youtube channel so today we'll be bringing you just on to me talk by Shulaja. yes we're going to be talking about our career educational background some controversies among many other things we talk by Shulaja is a star burning actress she's widely known as aruga as she produced this movie herself she's a nollywood actress she's a director a producer a journalist a scriptwriter an entrepreneur a social media brand ambassador and influencer wow this title for just one person and yes she is doing excellently well in this various field she's also known as star girl she's talented she's skilled she's creative she is beautiful in fact Timmy Tokpe and Fumi Awelewa could actually pass for sisters because they are both light skin they are both robust and they have almost the same shape of face she was born on the 14th of February 1990 in Shagamo Ogun State her parents are also from Shagamo and she is the first born of her parents but was brought up by her mother alone because her parents had a divorce when she was quite young Yes, speaking of birthday, she celebrated her birthday on the 14th of February this year as well. She's also a February baby and Valentine's baby. She took to her Instagram page to share a picture saying happy birthday to me. And then added a caption which says another year and so much to be grateful for. God has been so good to me looking at the past years. Counting my blessing and all I can say is thank you, God. I can't wait to see what the new year holds. Happy birthday to me. End quote. This was Timmy Talk by wishing herself a happy birthday and looking forward to other blessings God has in stock for her. And as expected, our colleagues took to the comment section to wish her a happy birthday. And the likes of Kemi Koridi said, happy birthday, star girl. Many more joyful years ahead. Funke Ekti said, happy birthday, darling. Big Vai Jokotoye said, Happy birthday, dear sister. Kunli Afford said, Happy birthday. Yetine Banaba said, Happy birthday, darling. They sent many more words. The comments filled in a comment section by our colleagues, fans, followers, and loved ones. Outside the comment section area where people wished a happy birthday, some of our colleagues took to their various Instagram pages to share a picture of Timmy Talk by Shulaja and i wish that her happy birthday as well and if i follow and a fan of tukbe adelaja you know that she is a very good friend of fumi awelewa as well fumi awelewa took to her instagram page to share a picture of her friend and added the caption saying happy birthday my love atimi tukbe shulaja aruga i appreciate you always and thanks for putting smile on my face when i needed help I'll always be grateful. Love you, girl. Enjoy your day. End quote. And right on that, this post, Timmy Takwashulaja commented and said, Oh, Remy, thank you for always, baby. Love you. This was Timmy Takwashulaja's response. Speaking you know, of being grateful, Timmy Takwashulaja is someone that came through for Fumi Awelewa when she needed help the most. She made this known on her Instagram page by sharing this story with everyone letting us know that at her lowest Timmy Tokpe Shulaja came through for her she was with nothing she was with no penny and she had called several of her friends who are also in the Nollywood industry but none could come to her aid but before she could say one or two Timmy Tokpe had to stop her from explaining further and told her just send your account number let me send you something the long episode she shared she stated that she had called at least 10 of her colleagues and none could even borrow at 20k she further explained that if she had the cash she would have sold it and start over again but then she had none and lo and behold she got a credit alert of 50,000 naira in less than five minutes from timmy tokba shulaja she said in her words and i quote timmy tokba shulaja at timmy tokba shulaja aruga last year when i was broke to stupor i called more than 10 of my colleagues to borrow me money to eat that even if it's 5k but all said no i didn't have a car i would have sold it to start afresh when i lost everything I called you when all proved abortive to please borrow me 20k and I wanted to tell you what I needed 
to borrow the twenty k for. To my surprise, you said Fumi Maru Joju, send account number, meaning don't talk too much, send your bank details. In less than five minutes, now so fifty thousand naira enter my account. Me, we no chop for two days. I cried like a baby because you covered my shame. In a nutshell, at the money I take will locate come up for a battle. Con this court for Lagos before I got my own apartment last year. Thank you, thank you, thank you. My success story isn't complete without your support. I love you. Atimita Kweshulaja Aruga and quote. This was Fumi Awelewa last year when she was sharing her encounter and the experiences she had when she was at her lowest and appreciating those who came through for her. That made it possible for her to share her success story and Temi Tokbe Shulaja was one of them. Temi Tokbe started her career in 2007 when she auditioned to be an acting extra among the witches extra in the movie titled Bamitale which was produced by Afis Eniola aka Onile Re. She attended the Ohani Nozran Primary School in Shagamu Ogun State and Ikene Community High School, Ikene Remo Ogun State, where she obtained her first and secondary school certificate, respectively. She later backed a degree in mass communication from Taishola Arin University of Education, also in Ogun State. Afri Senyela was shooting part of the movie in Taishola Arin University premises, requested for would be extras, and Aruga was shortlisted by her friend, Mr. Ejalu Nibu, who was his friend as well. She was successful during the audition, which had Adibaya Tijani and Afri Senyela as the panelist. Propelled by her first experience in a movie, she picked up the enrollment form and joined the Afis Eniola group a few weeks later. Tomitakwe continued to act while still in school. She had to shuttle between school and movie location, mostly in Oyo State. This development led to her having an extra year in her studies. The talented actress has featured mostly in Yoruba movies. She also featured in one English movie titled The Antique in 2014, which was directed by DJT and written and produced by Darcy Richards. In 2015, Tim Tokwe wrote and produced her first movie titled Aruga, which was directed by Anta Lania. This was how Timmy Tokwe got a nickname Aruga. In 2017, Aruga, as she was fondly called, produced another movie titled Ashabia Kata, which was directed by Ibrahim Yekini Tele the Icon. Timmy Tokwe was also the brain behind Oriente and Empire. Aside professional acting, Tim Tokbe is also an entrepreneur. She owns an exquisite fashion outfit named Star Girl Luxury Store that deals in original natural hair and selected ladies wear. She is a brand influencer, as mentioned earlier, a movie producer, and a director. Well, she is no longer in Nigeria as she decided to relocate to the United States to seek greener pastures. She has had her own fair share of controversy in the Nollywood industry as well, one with Nkechi Blessy where they both call each other out over trying to trend on Instablog Ninja. They were friends and they are still friends now as they eventually resolved their issue. Nkechi Blessy also wished her happy birthday on her birthday on the 14th of February. Mzok Peshulaja needs no advertisement with every Everything we've said about her, she's talented, creative, and good with our craft. Well, guys, they have it. Do not forget to like, subscribe, and drop your comments in the comment section below. Thank you. Bye.